when you're Christmas as fuck. <laughs> was, oh, why is everything falling? Oh my god, I got so scared that it wasn't recording. I was literally gonna be so mad because I've been talking for like 10 minutes. And I okay, let's begin. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with a another video. What? Another video? Emily, you're on fire. What are you doing? Oh my god, so many videos. Ah, it's like you're a real YouTuber. Ah. I know guys, let's all calm down. But today I am showing you guys my art portfolio and just a few art pieces that I have because you guys requested this and you guys actually care and want to see my artwork, which I am so flattered about. Like, wow, people care about my art? What? This is crazy. But basically I have all of this that I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if I'm going to show you guys uh, every art piece but uh, definitely a few good ones that I feel like are worth sharing with you guys. A quick disclaimer. To beep, beep, beep. Okay, honestly, I just couldn't find an alarm sound effect to go here. But just pretend there's one here for the sake of the video. Okay, thanks, bye. I'm in no means trying to brag in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I don't think I'm like Picasso or anything. Uh, yeah, with that being said, let's just get into this video. All right, so the first art piece that I see right here that I'm just going to pull from the pile because I don't know where to begin. It's just all so overwhelming. <laughs> so basically it is this little painting right here. It is just a painting of a mouth that is wide open and then in the background it has some really cool palm tree leaves and it has some red detailing uh, with watercolor and I don't know it's just like a really awesome art piece. I don't know am I allowed to call my art piece awesome? I don't know. Um, but yeah there was no reasoning behind this. I just painted it randomly because I was bored. The goal was kind of to make an image that I wanted to go on a t-shirt so that's what I probably am going to do with this. Uh, the next piece that I see is just this pointillism drawing of a Coca-Cola bottle. It's just like a super retro kind of feel and then the background is done with some chalk pastel. And yeah, super simple. This actually took a super long time to do. Oh my god. You have to go in individually with like a pen or a marker or whatever you're doing pointillism with. Just put in dots. Just like add a layer of dots like everywhere and it's, it's so hard but uh, I think it came out really cool and I am really happy with it. Uh, the next piece I have here is probably something you guys have seen before. I posted this on my Twitter kind of a while ago. Not really. It's a, it's a good time. I don't know. What is time really, you know? But it is just this painting of a mouth and then it has some dripping teeth. And then in the background, it has like a cool like water splash sort of effect. So it's red and blue and it's just like a really cool contrast. Uh, the next drawing, well not even a drawing, this is like kind of like a pen painting and I don't even know. Um, but the next thing that I see here is just this painting of a person holding a pen and doing homework or something. I don't know. And then it just says, what am I doing here? And then it has some dripping paint detailing and just... But now I'm just going to move on to my art portfolio from this year or I guess from last year technically. Uh, this is my art portfolio that I ended up doing and turning in for AP Art. They're a little bit more high quality, I guess you could say. Uh, I tried a little bit more on these paintings and drawings. So yeah. I'm just and before I show you guys them, I just want to quickly say for AP Art, we have this like thing called, uh, I forgot what it's actually called, but basically it's like a theme for your uh, paintings and drawings that you're turning into like the headboard to review. That's how you like pass AP Art. So basically uh, my theme was uh, technology and social media because I thought it was really important at that time and I still think it's important. I'm kind of glad that I chose that because I think it's a really cool topic. But basically I just wanted to show some effects of social media and how it shapes our society and you know how it controls us and how it's like a pretty big deal. So yeah, I have a few paintings that I'm gonna show you guys depicting that. <laughs> this painting is basically a play on the uh, really famous <laughs> painting that I'm sure you guys all know, uh, the creation of Adam. But basically I just did a Windows background that you guys see on Microsoft all the time. It's like the classic Windows background. And then I have a little mouse right here. That's like a digital little uh, thing. And yeah, nothing too crazy, but I thought it was really cool because it was like a play on a really retro piece and kind of bringing it back to like a more modern era, you know? Uh, the next painting that I have here is this little like pen drawing, I guess. I, I did the face with all of like ink pen and then I have this dripping acrylic paint uh, kind of looking like a jail cell. That was my intention. <laughs> so yeah, I just kind of wanted to 
show that like notifications like control us a lot and social media is like a real big deal to us kind of like a prison sort of i don't know art is subjective take that how you want uh, <laughs> the next piece i did was just this little flower painting that i drew kind of a long time ago but, but i still ended up turning it in for apr because it matched with my theme so it is just this painted blue flower in a pot that's overflowing and then it has this cool notification over it and i just thought it was really cool because it's so relatable to the millennials you know oh my god hashtag relatable um the next thing that i did was just this person with multiple faces and then it has a yellow circle background and then it says loading on top and it just kind of reminded me of like you know any page that's loading so that was kind of just like a play on like web pages not responding um this next piece is definitely one of my favorites just because the coloring is so cool looking but basically it is just this like crazy looking person with a spinny like eye looks like they're on drugs or something and then uh i have this wi-fi symbol above them that is just like dripping onto them and it's just like an intense piece and definitely something really cool i think it's kind of creepy but very i don't know just kind of it makes a point you know about wi-fi <laughs> okay and now i'm just gonna move on to some framed pieces that i sent into another uh, thing for AP art. These were like my five best pieces from this year. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys these. For the first one, once again, it was following my theme of like technology and social media, but it is basically just this like silver painting with this mouth dripping onto this iPhone that is getting Wi-Fi and basically what I was going for was like something about like how social media controls your words But I guess it doesn't really make sense because it's not coming directly like the the dripping isn't coming directly from the mouth So I don't know. I don't know what I was really going for here, but uh, I think it looks really cool and <laughs> I still like how it came out the next piece once again is following the technology and social media theme And it is basically just this phone that has like this bloody looking splash onto it with this like disconnected cut off hand and it is being plugged into an outlet and i think the colors on this are so sick and my cross hatching with like the pen is really detailed and i was really happy with how this came out this next piece that i'm showing you guys is super old like, this is one of the first things that i probably painted with watercolor like a long ass time ago uh but it is basically just this green eye and yeah, not much to say about it. It's just a regular green eye that I painted with watercolor. I remember this was when I really started getting into like art and painting and drawing and stuff. Uh, this was kind of like the turning point. I remember after I did this, I was like, wow, like this is this, this turned out pretty good. It's not that bad, you know? So, um, This next piece is definitely one of my favorites. It's a little bit morbid, but I'm okay with that because I'm kind of into it. Um, but basically this art piece is just an androgynous looking person. And then it has some red paint dripping from its eyes. And uh, yeah, they just... Oh. So that was about it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Definitely feel free to leave some video ideas or requests down below. I read all the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. When your best friend